Praise the Lord, everyone. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. I want to thank you for joining me with me with Tuesday's Daily Bible Study coming from Charlene's Outreach Ministries. We want to thank you for joining with us as we gather together to study and meditate on the word of the Lord. Amen. Our lesson for today is an illegitimate king. And our lesson is coming from Judge 9 verses 1 through 6. Amen. But before we get started, we're going to have prayer then we're going to move right into the lesson. Dear God in heaven, we thank you. We thank you for watching over us, guiding us, and leading us. We thank you for making a way out of nowhere. We thank you for leading us and guiding us in your true path of righteousness. We thank you for all the blessings that you bestow upon us, those seen and unseen, Father. Lord, we thank you that you are God and beside you there is none other. We thank you that you are wonderful and that you are our counselor. Amen. We thank you, Heavenly Father, that you are our everlasting Father and our Prince of Peace. We give you all the honor and the glory, and we bless your holy name. Lord, we give, we thank you for watching over us and guiding us and strengthening us, taking care of us up and down the dangerous highway day and night. We thank you for being with us as we come in and when we go out. We thank you, Father, that you are our all in all. Lord, we come to you today thanking you and giving you praise, glory, and honor for opening our eyes that we see and our ears that we hear and giving us wisdom, knowledge, and understanding of your word that as we study and meditate on your word father that our hearts is open and we receive the uh what we would what you would have each one of us personally to receive from your word father that we grow stronger in you stronger in your word be a blessing to those that we come in contact with in the name of jesus having the arm of god uh, upon us and taking care of us and watching over us in thy name father we give you glory and honor and we bless your holy name we thank you heavenly father in jesus name we do pray amen we're gonna get ready and go right into our lesson our tuesday lesson is an Ill illegitimate king coming from judge 9 verse 1 through 6 and the scripture lesson takes read now amalek the son of jerubbabel sent to shechem to his mother's relatives and said to them and to the whole clan of his mother's family say in the ears of the leaders of Shechem which is better for you that all 70 of the sons of Jeroboam rule over you or that one rule over you remember also that I am your bone and your flesh and said uh, uh, and his mother's relatives spoke all these words on his behalf in the ears of all the the leaders of Shechem and their hearts inclined to follow Amalek for they said he is our brother and they gave him 70 pieces of silver out of the house of Baal uh, out of the house of Baal Baroth with which Amalek hired worthless and reckless fellows who followed him. And he went to his father's house at Ophrah and killed his brothers, the sons of Jerubbabel, 70 men on one stone. But Jotham, the youngest son of Jerubbabel, was left for he hid himself. And all the leaders of Shechem came together and all Bethel, Bethel Malo and they went and made Amalek king by the oak of the pillow at Shechem. Amen. <clears throat> we see here, you know, usually uh, when people is doing underhanded, they got to send somebody to to speak up for them and to uh, uh, talk for them. Because uh, if the people uh, uh, had a realize and, and thought with any knowledge or common sense, they would not have used all 70 of the brothers to rule over them. Uh, it would have been a spoke one, spokesman, and then more than likely they may have spoke to some of the other brothers. They wouldn't have went to all of them, but they would spoke to some of the other brothers, the ones that was interested in the situation that was at hand. But no, <clears throat> they didn't realize here that Amalek was uh, being underhanded and facetious in what he was doing. And, in, and after doing so, after becoming the king, then he goes and kills all his brothers to make sure, except one, to make sure that they do not rise up against him and take over and, and take him out of leadership. 
people can be very greedy and we have to be watchful of, of how people are acting if they <clears throat> truly are doing what is the will of the Lord. Just because they is in the family does not mean they are the right one for the position. Amen. Commentary says, Amalek, my father was king, a son of Gideon, was not a judge of Israel, but a usurper, one who sought to rule Israel without proper authority. To eliminate any threats to his rule, he murdered all his his brothers except Jotham the youngest working through worthless and reckless relatives in Shechem he uh, persuaded the people of that area to recognize him as king since Gideon had 70 sons and not all were slain the 70 of the in verse Five, it was considered a rounded number, but <clears throat> but as we see here, uh, Amalek was was being very facetious and, and cunning and undermining, and we have to be mindful and watch out for people like that that try to do things in a hurry and quick, uh, and 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 while others is not around. And man, if he believed he was truly worthy of the uh, uh, of the placement of. Uh, of being king then he would have did it in front of others and around others but no he knew that he was considered a stepchild because he was uh, actually uh, a son of a uh, a maid servant that was there not one of the sons of the wife amen so we have to be mindful of what we are doing amen this is a wonderful and powerful lesson for things that we have to look out for and watch out how who we uh, quickly uh, accept underfold uh, when we are doing things we need to go to God no matter what the situation is amen this is a wonderful and powerful lesson I would like to ask you all if something is said touches your heart soul or spirit if you have any questions or comments please uh, jot them at the bottom of the screen below and I will get to them as soon as possible and I would also like to ask if you would subscribe to my channel and join with us as we study and meditate on the word of the Lord amen this is a wonderful lesson I pray that you join with us. Amen. Have a wonderful and blessed day.